<laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like to take risks for the good or the bad, you know, I, I just, I like to challenge myself and um, I like to do all different kinds of materials. So for me, sometimes challenging myself is scaling the side of a fake mountain in Mr. and Mrs. Smith and sometimes challenging myself is, you know, playing a transsexual in a little independent film, guerrilla filmmaking style. So it, it kind of depends on the mood I'm in and it depends on what I did last and, um, and what seems like a challenge for me at that point in my life. I love what I do, I love being an actor and I, I feel really lucky that I get to do what I love to do for a living. So I will do it in lots of places, whether it's a big screen or a small screen or a stage or on a camera or indie films, big budget films. I kind of like to change it up. You, of all people, lecturing me on commitment. Where you been, Marcus? All this time, where did you go? I think a lot of what attracted me to this film was that we tend to think about the Black Panthers and the Black Panther Party, the movement, in kind of stereotypical terms. We think about afros and fists in the air and guns. Um, we don't, as a society, often think about the people behind the movement. We don't think about the human stories, the, the mother, the sister, the, the nephew that, that gave themselves to their own committed idea of social change. When I read the script, I just felt like Tanya wrote this beautiful story because the film is just, it's this lovely love story, quite honestly, between two people who loved each other 10 years ago and they're trying to figure out how to make sense of their lives and of each other later on. It's about these very human issues, but placed in the context of this very heightened political environment. People keep talking about the chemistry between Anthony and I. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that we really respect each other as actors. You know, he is this, I mean, he's this Juilliard trained beast machine of an actor. You know, he's so good at what he does and he makes it look so easy. You know, you know that he's got this incredible craft about what he does, but he makes it look like all he's doing is breathing, you know, and, and I'm very envious of that. Um, but we, you know, we didn't have a lot of time to rehearse, but we both knew enough about our process as actors to know that, okay, these are two people who have a history together. They used to know each other very well. They've been through something very intense together, and now they're meeting up 10 years later and trying to get a sense of each other. And in some ways we thought, well, we kind of are in that situation. You know, we did this really crazy, fantastic, intense, Spike Lee movie together. We were in the trenches together on that. And we really like each other. We really respect each other professionally. And here we are, you know, a handful of years later, really liking each other, but kind of getting a sense of each other again. And so lucky for us, the film kind of shot mostly in sequence. And so we could really do that. You know, when you're watching us getting a sense of each other in the film, it's because we're actually getting a sense of each other and we're kind of going, so how are we gonna play these people? And how are we gonna figure out who they were and what they were about? And what do you think about your character? And, and you're, you're seeing a lot of that, it's very honest. And it, it just happens to lucky for us be a similar situation to what the characters are going through. No, I loved being here. I loved living here in Philadelphia. I loved, you know, sometimes you'll do a film in a place and you don't really have a connection to the place because let's say you're doing a movie that takes place, it's supposed to take place in Boston, but you're really shooting it in Toronto. Or um, sometimes you'll do a movie in New York, but it's a big budget action movie where there's just, you know, cops on every block. And so you're not really engaging with the community. I feel like Philadelphia is almost a character in the film because you really get a sense of the city. You get a sense of the place, you get a sense of the people. And we were not in big trailers. We were hanging out with people on the street, engaging with the community, spending time. I felt like every time I came out the house, a different somebody in the community was you know hanging out with my dog and and so you know we really lived here it's a film that that I'm really proud to be in I feel really honored to be able to tell this story and, and I hope that people enjoy it and I hope that people support it night catches us sometimes you can't go on until you go back I'm Carrie Washington, and you're watching Real Black. That's R-E-E-L, Black.